Alright. Okay, cool. Time is 427. Hey everybody, my name is Nick Rummel. Um, I have office hours in Stratton Hall. Four to, from 4 to 6 on Tuesdays and Thursdays with John Helen. We're always here for you if you have any problems with DPQ. There are other times um, with different TAs throughout the week. If you're still needing help, um, we're always here for you. We're your resource. Um, today we'll be going over problem 13, which uh, is uh, the one stated right here. This is a DPQ, which we're going to be using undetermined coefficients to solve, and uh, I think that we'll just get right into it. First, we're going to notice the homogeneous solution. So the homogeneous solution is when we don't have any other function of t. So um, we s pretty easily recognize that the y homogeneous, it's an h, I'm sorry, it's not clear, um, y homogeneous is going to be e to the t with a constant out front. Um, I'm just going to call that c1. And you can see that because the derivative with respect to y, um, if we cover up the derivative with respect to y, if we cover up this e term, um, you have to, or the derivative with respect to t of y is going to have to be itself again um, with a constant out front, which is the only function that really does this well is p to the t. Um, next we're going to be solving our y particular problem and uh, how we go about that is you want to guess something that's going to match this function of t term. So I'm going to guess uh, c2 e to the negative 2t. Because our guess is going to be different than uh, this term right here, it's not e to the t as well. We don't have to add a t term, so this is fine. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to see how this plays out to solve for this c2 term. Um, so we see that y particular prime equals y particular uh, plus e to the negative 2t. And there's like kind of an invisible 1 times that right there. And so what happens... Uh, there is we see that we get c2 um, times a negative 2 because we're taking the derivative of it, right? e to the negative 2t equals c2 e to the negative 2t plus e to the negative 2t. And now we see that all of these are like terms, so we can just break it down into a coefficient problem. And we get c2 plus this. 1, and it's that divisible 1 right there, and we get negative 3, c2 equals 1, so we get c2 equals negative 1 third. Uh, is this correct? I'm so sorry. I think I'm going to have to record this video again. This is completely wrong. I just forgot to put 3 up here. Hey everybody, my name is Nick Rummel. I'm one of your TAs uh, for Scott. My office hours are from 4 to 6 p.m. with John Helland in Stratton Hall on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, we're always here for you as a resource. Today I'm going to be giving you a video tutorial on how to solve problem 13. This is an undetermined coefficients problem and uh, we'll just get right into it. First thing that we want to do is we want to solve our homogeneous solution. Uh, so we see that right away that's going to be some constant times e to the t. Um, how we know that is if we cover up this function of t and we just look at the homogeneous solution when this is zero, uh, we see that e to the t 
its derivative is itself, and we can have whatever constant out in front of that, and that can still stay true. Next, we're going to be looking at our y particular. We want to look at our function of t and guess something similar to this. Um, because there's a different coefficient attached to this e to the t, there's an e to the negative 2t, we can guess e to the negative 2t up here because uh, this um, negative 2 attached to the t is different than the 1 attached to the 1 here, which have a different coefficient. Um, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to solve for c2. How we do that is we're going to look at the particular case, y particular prime equals y particular plus e to the negative 2t. We take the derivative of y particular, we see that that's c2, there's a negative 2 that comes down, e to the negative 2t equals c2, e to the negative 2t plus 3e to the negative 2t. Um, now we can cancel all of these because if we divide through, we can just see that those all go away and we get negative 2c2 equals uh, c2 plus 3. We get negative 3c2 equals um, 3. And then we get negative 1 equals c2. We can write out our whole solution now. And we have y homogeneous um, plus y particular, which means that we have c1 e to the t plus a negative 1, so we can just say minus. Cool. And uh, that is the solution.